How's everybody doing today? My name's Bill. A lot of you probably already know that. We sure appreciate our day one subscribers and the feedback and enthusiasm we've gotten for this channel. You know what day it is. Technical Tip Tuesday. I had a couple of lower extremity arterial duplex cases over the last couple of weeks uh, and a few interesting findings regarding collaterals. And I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about how color Doppler allows us to use this information to our advantage. Hope you enjoy. As someone who started to do vascular ultrasound prior to the advent of color Doppler, I'm a big fan. Color Doppler allows us to readily see and evaluate very small vessels, even submillimeter vessels throughout a large field of view. This really opens up some very useful interpretive clues. So here's a color Doppler image of a popliteal artery. I'll give you a minute to look at that. What do you think? Here's another popliteal artery. What do you think about this one? How about one more? Take a minute and look this one over. Before we go back and revisit these, let's do a quick review of color Doppler interpretation. So let's consider this color Doppler image of a common carotid artery. The first thing we need to do to interpret is consider the steering angle depicted by the box. So we know that our look angle or angle of incination is coming in along the arrow. We see the color is red. So we look over at our color bar at the left, and that always displays flow direction. Flow towards the transducer is always on the top, flow away on the bottom. So therefore, we know flow in that common carotid artery is moving from right to left. So let's consider this color Doppler image of the aorta. And this is kind of the classic example because of changing angles of incination. Let's check our color bar. So we see flow towards the transducer is red, flow away is blue. To the left side of the image, where our angle of incination is in this direction, and we see flow towards the transducer. However, to the right of the image, our angle of incination changes. It's coming in in this direction, and we see color blue, or flow away from the transducer. So to interpret this, we can say flow is moving from left to right. If you notice kind of right in the transition, almost black because the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. So we get zero Doppler shift at 90 degrees angle of incination. So let's revisit these popliteal arteries. First, Let's check our color bar so we know flow towards the transducer is red in this case, flow away is blue. Now we'll come to the image. Let's check our look angle, straight down. How about the popliteal artery? We know flow is going towards the transducer, so from left to right. How about the vein? Flow away from the transducer, so that's moving right to left. But how about this collateral down here? Wow, flow towards the transducer. This is an inflow collateral. Shouldn't be. So let's revisit this popliteal artery. We'll check our color box. Flow towards is red, flow away is blue. We'll check our look angle. Box is steered to the left. So we'll check the popliteal artery. Flow is towards the transducer, so we know flow is moving in the proper direction from left to right. Let's check this collateral on the top. Flow towards is red, so that's an outflow collateral. How about this collateral coming off the bottom? Flow away is blue, that's an outflow. This is a normal appearance. 
So we'll go ahead and review this one. Once again, check color box. Flow towards is red. Flow away is blue. Let's look at our look angle. Straight down. How about the popliteal artery? Flow towards the transducer, albeit somewhat slightly. So that's red. That's proper direction. How about this collateral coming off the top? Blue. Flow away from the transducer. That's an inflow collateral. Abnormal. These are pretty cool to look at in real time. Here's a popliteal artery. No, we have a couple of branches. There's a collateral off the bottom there. Let's interpret that. Flow towards is red. That's going into the popliteal artery and inflow collateral. Another one in blue at the top. Flow away from the transducer is blue. So that's a second inflow collateral. Definitely abnormal. So remember, Doppler allows us to determine direction of flow. Here's a color Doppler of a dorsalis pedis right down at the ankle. Gee, we have flow in both directions. To the left, we have flow away from the transducer in blue. And to the right, we have flow towards the transducer in red, bidirectional flow in this artery. When we see that, we know this vessel is reconstituted. It comes in right there in the middle. Now, sometimes these can be a little difficult to trace because of the tortuosity of the vessel. But here's this one with the reconstituted dorsalis pedis right at the ankle. Most of these will reconstitute via the peroneal artery. And you see here, I can almost kind of connect the two. The vessel's pretty tortuous, but I can certainly tell this comes from the peroneal. So here's my advice. Anytime you see a branch or a collateral in a lower extremity, always take a minute and determine, is this an inflow or an outflow collateral? It should always be outflow. Bill's rule, anytime you see an inflow collateral in a lower extremity artery, it is virtually diagnostic of a severe stenosis or more likely a complete occlusion proximal to that collateral. Oh yeah, I love that boogie woogie. So hope you enjoyed this little technical tip on evaluation of collaterals in lower extremity arteries. You know what to do? Like, subscribe, and then go out there and do right by your patients.